Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about some common hitting mistakes that I see hitters making all the time at nearly every level of baseball. You wanna be sure to avoid these mistakes so that you can start hitting the ball harder, further, and more consistently than ever before. You know, thanks to you guys, thanks to the UBT family, I have the opportunity to look at a variety of different hitters' swings at nearly every level of baseball. And so when you look at a lot of swings, you start to see some similarities, both good and bad. You start to see some commonalities and some common areas where hitters are making mistakes. And so I wanna share with you some things that I've noticed over the past several months, some mistakes that hitters are consistently making. I wanna point out those mistakes to you and help you avoid them in the future so that you can have more success at the plate. All right, so we'll get into that in just a second, but really quick, hey, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and join the UBT family because we're coming out with brand new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them so subscribe to the channel and be sure your notifications are on and with that being said let's jump into it this first mistake is a really simple one to correct but hey sometimes the simple things are what make the biggest difference of all so the first mistake is either hitting with one eye or hitting with your head cocked or tilted. So what do I mean by that? I mean, I tend to see a lot of hitters who when they're in their stance and they're looking out towards the pitcher, you can see that really their head, their face is actually pointing this way instead of being fully turned towards the pitcher like this, okay? So their head is facing more this way. And so all they're really doing is they're, they're, they're seeing the baseball with their dominant eye, their lead eye, but they're not seeing the baseball with both eyes. So you wanna be sure that your face is turned towards the pitcher so you can hit with both eyes and double your chances of success rather than just hitting with one eye. So that's a very, very uh, easy mistake to fall into. And a lot of the times it starts out with just tee work because with tee work, the ball is already in the hitting zone. And so it's easy to just start looking down at the tee instead of turning your face towards the pitcher like this. So I would encourage you, if you're struggling with this and you get yourself on video and you say, hey, I'm really actually only hitting with that one eye, I'm not completely turning my face towards the pitcher, then when you're doing your tee work or when you're doing your drills, make a conscious effort to fully turn your face and pretend that there's an imaginary pitcher out there and then only shift your eyes to the hitting zone You know, as you load and stride forward like you would in a real game. So that's the first mistake is either hitting with uh, only one eye instead of two eyes or you also see a lot of hitters who have their head cocked or tilted so sometimes you know you'll see hitters that this is my head cocked or tilted and my eyes are not flat they're not level okay and so there's a reason we don't walk around with our head tilted like this you can't see nearly as well as if my eyes are flat if my eyes are level okay and so again this is a very common mistake to fall into it's very easy to fall into this trap but it's also very easy to get out of this, okay? So just make sure that your eyes are flat and make sure your face is turned completely towards the pitcher. That way you can see the ball with both eyes. And if you're really struggling with this, try to change your routine a little bit so you know you can over-exaggerate it in a real game. What I mean is like when you step in the batter's box, however you like to do your routine, whether you tap the outside corner of the plate, whatever you like to do, maybe make a conscious effort to turn your chest and your face towards the pitcher as he's getting his sign and then pull your bat back like this and it's easier to keep your face in that position as opposed to sometimes you know hitters step in the batter's box and they close themselves off like this and then just look up and now my head is you know cocked and tilted a little bit and i'm only seeing with that lead eye that front eye so if you struggle with that just step in and as he's getting his sign you know make a conscious effort to turn your chest and your face towards the pitcher and then bring your bat back and that's really going to help you see the baseball better that's a common mistake, believe it or not. I know it's simple, but hey, seeing the baseball is one of the most important things in hitting, so you gotta see the ball well. Another common mistake that I see all the time with hitters is too strong of a grip. What I mean by too strong of a grip is too much of this and wrapping their hands around the bat as opposed to either aligning your door knocking knuckles or splitting the difference more and holding the bat more in your fingers. And believe it or not, again, you think grip, well, that's the most basic thing there is. I don't need to adjust anything with my grip. And a lot of the times, hitters don't really notice this until you take a slow motion look at their swing and you see that they're really hitting a lot of rollover ground balls. And so you really try to dissect, well, why are they hitting so many ground balls? And when you get down to it, 
a lot of the times it's because their grip is too strong and what that causes is it causes them to have a really hard time getting to a good palm up, palm down position at the point of contact. So, and a good way to see if your grip is too strong is if your elbows really start to flare out like this, chances are you, you might be having a too strong of a grip. But what I mean is you obviously want to be palm up, palm down at the point of contact. And so if I have too strong of a grip, well then just do this at home, get to the point of contact. And if I have too strong of a grip, that is a very awkward feeling position for me to get into. I feel super tight in this position. Um, and I feel like I can't hold this position for very long and you can't hold that position for very long. So what happens is players, they look good even at the point of contact, but because of this grip, it kind of creates a little loop in their swing and they come off plane with the pitch really quickly after the point of contact. So it's like they look good here, but they come off plane really, really quickly and that causes them to hit the top of the baseball and hit a lot of ground balls. Okay, so if you find yourself hitting a lot of rollovers, a lot of ground balls, or if you just notice your elbows flaring or maybe you just wanna go back and look and see, hey, is my grip a good grip? Just make sure that you know aligning your door knocking knuckles is fine that's like the most basic grip that's taught and then you also hear about the box grip which is aligning your door knocking knuckles on your top hand with your secondary knuckles on your your bottom hand and that's that's fine too but you just don't want to overcook this and get too strong of a grip because it's going to make it very difficult to get to that palm up palm down position at the point of contact and very difficult to stay on plane with the pitch after you make contact, very difficult to get to a good extension position, okay? So I recommend either door knocking knuckles or kind of split the difference between the two grips. Sometimes door knocking knuckles feels almost like you're hyper aligned a little bit. So maybe split the difference and make sure you're holding the bat a little bit more out in your fingers, not deep in your palms like this. Not out in your fingertips, but in your fingers a little bit, you're gonna have better bat control there too. You don't want it deep in your palms. That's another thing that can happen with too strong of a grip. So check your grip, and especially if you're hitting a lot of ground balls, see if your grip is a little bit too strong. A third common mistake with hitters is changing your loading speed. And typically you see this with pitchers on the mound who have above average velocity. And so when a guy throws hard, a lot of the times hitters will change their load speed and start loading quicker. And the thing is, you don't wanna change the speed at which you load, you wanna change when you load, okay? Change when you start to load, not the speed at which you load. But that's a common problem that you see. Guys get all tense and all you know jazzed up because there's a guy that's throwing a little bit harder than usual on the mound. And so what they end up doing is a lot of times they get really tense like this and then everything is quicker than usual. They might usually have this slow and methodical load and then all of a sudden it's like they're a different hitter with a guy throwing hard on the mound and they speed everything up. You don't wanna do that. If a guy throws harder than usual, I always talk about dance with the pitcher, mirror his movements. Pretty much when he loads, you load. When he strides towards you, you stride towards him then you adjust accordingly based on how hard he throws. So if he throws slower, you can afford to start a little bit later, but if he throws harder, all you have to do, don't change the speed at which you load, just change when you load. Just start everything, get everything going a little bit sooner. So if you have that slow and methodical load, you can still keep that slow and methodical load. You don't see big leaguers, you know, every single big leaguer having a super quick pace to the way that they do things. Some hitters do. Some hitters walk faster than others. Some hitters are more relaxed and more methodical. So if that's the type of hitter you are, you like to have a little bit of a slower load, right? Well then that doesn't change with a hard throwing guy. You just start everything a little bit sooner and then get your front foot down on time, not early or late, okay? But again, don't change the speed, don't go any quicker, just like you wouldn't load slower with a slower pitcher, you just change the point in time when you begin your load. If you enjoyed this video, then I know you're gonna love the brand new free hitting lesson I put together for you. And inside, I'm gonna reveal seven of the worst hitting tips out there that actually cause more harm than good for hitters. Because believe it or not, some of the most popular hitting tips that you've been taught actually cause more strikeouts, more pop-ups, and weaker contact at the plate. And that ultimately destroys your confidence 
and your success as a hitter. I know you want to avoid that. I know you want to hit the ball harder, further, and more consistently than ever before. And this free hitting lesson is going to help you do that. I know you're going to love it. So all you have to do is just click on the link down below in the description. I'll also leave that link down in the pinned comment. So go ahead and click that right now. It's 100% free and I can't wait to see you there. Oh, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already joined the UBT family and leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. All right, see you in that free hitting lesson.